Ash vs. Evil Dead, Season 1, Episode 7, Thoughts. This episode is called Fire in the Hole. Another episode I love, spoilers for everything Evil Dead leading up to, including this episode, TVMA Show, TVMA Vlog. And yeah, so we open with them getting back to nature, which, yeah, a lot of Evil Dead... Yeah, the, the movies usually get a lot out of... A lot, yeah... How, how ominous, untamed nature can be. And let's see. <laughs> We're just keeping Michigan moist. And I like that, <laughs> yeah. Kelly wants a flamethrower. It's only fair. And <laughs> yeah, reference to Ruby Ridge. Really cool when we see the aftermath and there's like bodies. There's this one guy's been like cut in half and the guts are pouring out. And let's see, <laughs> yeah. And the, the you know the the guy is you know begging them to to finish him off. And and Ash is like, we're not gonna you know we're not gonna do that. You're you're gonna be fine. And he turns to the others like, you know. Yeah, you know, it's revealed, yeah, yeah, and, and right after he's shot by the the militia people, and yeah, um, Lem is indeed a deadite, as, you know, we saw him get, get possessed, and yeah, um, very creepy when, you know, nice and, nice and tense when Amanda is recognized by one of the militia members and yeah you know if one of them is a cop then surely all of them are working for the government and you know oh the government is behind this whole thing you know they're talking about oh this is an experiment gone wrong <laughs> wow and like you know yeah I, I guess if this episode had come out so yeah this episode came out in 2015 and if if it had come out like four or five years later they would probably be saying this is the the covid vaccine that did this you know yeah conspiracy nuts and i really appreciate like a lot of the problems in this episode are actually because of the paranoia of the militia because You've got people with guns, you've got, you know, they're, they're trained to use these guns, and they already know the, that the enemy is this, this deadite. Like, they don't know exactly what's going on with that, but, you know, it's not like Ash and the, the gang have to, and, and the rest have to actually convince them, no, 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 there's, a, there's someone out there who's, you know, he looks like Lem, but he's not quite Lem, you know. But no, all of that, for so much of the episode, does not end up leading to, to them easily taking out Lem. You know, they way outnumber him, but because of this paranoia... So, so yeah, I'm still trying to figure out if this is, like, a conservative show or a, a just a progressive show with, like, Jimmy Carr-style comedy. Jokes and, and gags. And... Let's see... Yeah, very clever of the, the episode to split up. You know, you have Ash and Amanda getting getting caught, but Kelly and Pablo just barely got away in time, so they're trying to hide while the militia members are looking for them. Ash and Amanda are put in the... Uh, what is it called? Yeah, the, the place. Presumably you watched the episode before watching this video. That's the idea. And... Yeah, the, the the you know, you just never you just don't turn it off, you oh it's never off. I'm old school. You're old something. I, I will say I was not expecting her to be into him, especially not this this soon. And let's see. Yeah. Um Amanda talks about Ruby and we see Ruby come back. You know, like a phoenix rising from the ashes. You know, really looking forward to seeing more of her. And I, you know, somehow, I don't know how, I missed the, the 
sexual subtext, you know, le lesbian or at least sapphic subtext between Ruby and Amanda in, let's see, was it the episode before this one? I think it was the episode before this one, certainly an earlier episode of the show. So, you know, by, by longtime supporter, frequent commenter, Arts Cafe, you know, so now I'm like on the on the lookout for for more of that, and in in the show at least, and yeah, I kind of got you know, Amanda says you know, I I really appreciate that she told me the truth, and you know, basically this thing of you know, she she told me there was more out there, she opened my eyes, kind of thing. You know, these are not direct quotes, but that's kind of the the vibe you get. So so yeah, that kind of sounds like that might be where they're going with that and yeah Lem reappears and terrorizes Ash and Amanda very cool and and I like the you know how how did you know flamethrower so fast I don't know who am I uh uh you're in you're a you're a good guy. You're a you're a friend. You're a really cool guy. You know, just, she thinks that he's like, you know, like like um essentially like having a um depressive moment or something. You know, he's like, you know, what what am I even good for? Kind of thing. But it, and then he's not. No, no, no. I mean, I mean, like, it's, you know, I'm an I'm an axe guy or a, a rusty chain or you know, uh, I wish I had my rusty chain. Nope, that's not where okay, okay. And yeah, uh I like when, when Kelly fakes being weak and, and these, you know, alpha macho idiots, they're you know, they fall for it immediately. You know, they don't think, wait, could this be a trap, you know? Although ultimately they do you know yeah, the militia members do manage to take Kelly and Pablo captive and yeah there's a line of it you know yeah one of the militia members says I'm gonna get you pregnant later and Kelly says but won't your sister be jealous of us which is a pretty good comeback to a rape threat and I like that <laughs> one of the militia members refers to Kelly as Hillary <laughs> wow holy crap yeah, that's yeah, you know, because that yeah, the, they you know they see a woman that disagrees with them, and they're like, she's just like Hillary Clinton, you know. This is this is exactly like when I was a kid, and my sister was kind of mean to me, and my mom said I couldn't do that thing that I really wanted to do, you know, misogynistic bullshit. Just yeah. And yeah, really cool when when Dead Eye like rips the throat out and she's like blood pumping out, and and the you know he keeps slamming the guy's head on the the actually I have no idea what y'all call that in English, but the the thing at the at the back of the the car that you hitch, I guess it is is it called a hitch whatever trailer hitch is that it? I'm not a car person. And let's see. Yeah, and and you know, Pablo does manage to to get the keys to the car, you know, start it up, and back up so that the the deadite is like smushed up against the tree, and the the gas mask fills with blood. It just yeah, really really cool. Maybe I'm a pickup truck guy. And yeah, you know, she's like, okay, now grab the mask, you know, and and it, yeah, makes sense, and it does end up working. Disguise, you know, the, the only way they can get close, and see, that is where the fact that they got caught teaches them, yeah, okay, we, that's not gonna work. We can't, you know, we have to try something else, and, and, yeah. <laughs> and, and, yeah, Kelly, you know, having not fired an assault rifle before is not prepared for the recoil, which, yeah, you know, I haven't fired a weapon in real life, but yeah, recoil can be very intense on on guns like that. So yeah, and let's see. Yeah, and and you know, the the 
Um, yeah, as, as usual, the Deadite isn't quite dead. You know, that's kind of, that's, that's a big part of their, their whole thing. And, the, yeah, the, the, seemingly Kelly manages to, to kill, but, but Pablo, who's, who's, like, really excited and anxious, is, like, boxing the, the seemingly now dead Deadite. And, yeah, um, the, um, yeah, Ash and Amanda managed to get to this, like, you know, what, what is it, you know, daylight, as in dead by, and, yeah, they can't open it because of the lock, and I like Kelly using Second Amendment as a verb when threatening the, the militia members, and Amanda, you know, lures in Lem, and he's got the flare, and the, you know, he's using the gasoline again, and yeah, really, really epic scene, like, holy crap, a lot of, a lot of amazing stuff, you know, this thing of, yeah, the threat of, because the deadite doesn't care, like, like the, the evil spirit doesn't care if this deadite body is destroyed, it could just go find another body, but these human beings will perish, uh, you know, be no more, be no more threat, so, yeah, you know, he's like spreading, the, the gasoline is spreading it on himself, he's got the, the flare that they have, you know, very nicely, it's, it's different, we haven't seen that sort of thing from a deadite before, but it is very logical, so, yeah, really, really cool setup, and, you know, the thing about, so there's one flare on the ground, and it's like rolling very close to the carriage, to, to, I forget, yeah, the gasoline of some kind, and there's the, the, you know, the, the flare in, in Lem's hand, and Ash manages to catch the flare, and then get it in, you know, dunk it in water, and, and knock out the, the other flare, you know, very, very nicely done. And, and, you know, Ash and Amanda almost kiss, and then Kelly, you know, comes to check if they're still alive. And I like Pablo accidentally firing, I believe it's called an L-A-W, or maybe it's just pronounced law. You know, the, the, ah, this is my kind of thing. I found my boomstick, and then he accidentally fires it, and it explodes off the, you know. Maybe a, maybe a gun's fine for him. And, yeah, another deadite shows up, and they just you know, completely tear it apart with, with bullets, including, like, shooting part of its its head off. Really, really cool. And, you know, Ash makes this, this statement, about, you know, I I really appreciate you, and, and, you know, you need to keep staying alive. And, and you know, they're like, huh, what's with this guy? Not realizing, yeah, he's gonna leave him so that he can go to the cabin. Because, you know, he's he does still worry that they're gonna end up dead at the cabin. And we end on Ash's hand making it to the cabin. Very, very cool. Um, there's only three episodes left of this season. Yeah, this is a really... Yeah, I can hardly wait to see how this season ends. So, IMDb trivia for this episode. Uh, let's see... Yeah, uh, the director of this episode is Michael Hurst. Previously worked with Sam Raimi, Bruce Campbell, Lucy Lawless... Bob Tabert on various Hercules and Xena stuff. Jack of all trades, bitch slap, Spartacus, Gods of the Arena, and Spartacus. And I think that. Oh, yeah, according to the, the quote, I'm giving you my little quotes page, it is called a trailer hitch. And, yeah, um, I should be able to do an episode in six or eight days. I sound like a delivery service. My brain. Good news, Lem. You won't even know it's gone.